What's up, YouTube? Happy coming to you, Captain Awesome Fish Room, Jeff Promos Bro Vibe, bringing y'all a very cool video today. Kind of sad, but very cool. Uh, in the same stretch of the imagination there. So get excited. I'm really excited about today's video. I'm announcing a couple things. Uh, first of all, we'll go through the sad part. I am downsizing my fish room, and it's not because I want to get out of fish keeping. It's because I'm interested in keeping some other animals uh, that aren't fish. They don't even go in water, believe it or not. <laughs> but uh, I am downsizing. I will be keeping three, no more than four tanks. Uh, the two big ones that you see behind you, uh, the 140 that I haven't gotten set up yet, uh, as well as either my 40 breeder or my 55, I'm not completely sure yet. Uh, I'm not completely sure yet. Uh, and the tanks that I'm not keeping, I will be selling those as well, as well as a lot of equipment too. So uh, make sure you check, I mean, stay tuned to, if you're not, if you're not on aquatic support community or the the sales page that we have guys go check out those links because that's where i'm going to post these things for sale uh, i will not be shipping tanks uh, as far as aquariums but equipment i'll ship that all day long uh, as far as the fish that i'm keeping that are automatically just off limits big rig my dovi caesar my hoga boomeroom and odin my trimac along with my bitchers and my plecos. I'm still undecided on the clown knife and uh, Cletus the Fajaka Puffer, but everything else is up for grabs, guys. Uh, so it's really exciting. I will announce when I'm starting to sell them. Uh, I'm going to start selling them on eBay. So once I, once I get all that situated, uh, I will announce that on video for y'all. But as far as the equipment and stuff like that, all that will go through the aquatic support community stuff, okay? So make sure you go over there, click that like button, become a member of the best Facebook community there is, okay? Make sure you do that. Uh, I have a lot of cool equipment. So anyways, uh, if you are interested in any of, the, any of my fish, uh, you can email me directly. If you have my cell phone number, please text message me. Uh, I get back a lot faster than email. Uh, don't email me asking me for my phone number because if I don't know you, I will not give it to you. I'm, I mean, I'm sorry. We have to go through at least 10 to 20 emails before I feel comfortable giving somebody my phone number. Uh, a lot of you out there already have my phone number, though. I've helped a lot of y'all out, and I don't mind y'all calling me or texting me or anything like that. So if you already have it, by all means, go ahead and do it. We can talk. Uh, we'll come up with a with a good deal. I'm not looking to make a bunch of money, guys. I want these fish to go to awesome homes. That's what I'm most concerned with. Okay, you will not find these fish for cheaper values. I promise you. Uh, so what we're going to do today is... Well, first, I want to tell you what why I'm downsizing. I'm going to be keeping Gila Monsters. Don't ask me why. I just have a, a really... I'm just really fascinated with them. Uh, I've been I've been speaking with one of the number one breeders in the country, uh, DOC uh, Seward, uh, and he has a clutch hatching next month, and that's when I'll be purchasing my first one or two Gila monsters. They are very expensive animals. I will be doing some DIY videos of setting up an enclosure for these animals. And, uh, you know, once I get them, of course, I'll be doing an unboxing and stuff like that, guys. But it's not for another month, maybe two months, because he has to get them fed and stuff first. Uh, any questions you have about Gila Monsters, guys? Uh, I am still researching them. Uh, I, have the, I have the grassroots of them down. Uh, they are a venomous animal, uh, but they're not, I'm going to kill you venomous, okay? You'll be in a lot of pain if you get bit. Uh, but I don't think there's any recorded deaths of Gila Monster Bites. Uh, but this guy, uh, he is the number one, one of the number one breeders in the country of beaded lizards and Gila Monsters, so I'm really excited. I'll be doing the banded Gila Monsters, not the reticulated. I'd, for some reason, I like the banded ones better. Uh, you can barely tell the difference, but I like the banded ones better. Uh, and as far as the content of today's video, we're going to go through and look at all the fish. We're just going to go through, look at every single fish, and I have a treat for y'all at the end that I'm really excited about. Uh, so make sure you stay tuned to there. Make sure you go and check out Aquatic Support Community and all those links inside the description, guys. Uh, it's a great community. Make sure you check out Team Aquatic Support. Go subscribe to all those guys' channels. They have awesome videos, very knowledgeable guys. Okay, and also make sure you go and check out New Out to get that stuff bumping inside of your tank. 
All those links are inside the description, so I am making it really easy for y'all, so go and check them out. So I hope y'all are excited. Let's go and check out all these fish. Uh, get excited to see some Gila monsters in the future. It's going to be awesome. Here we go. All right, guys, so here we have my bettas. You can see the male and female. They're going at it again. He has a little bubble nest up there. I'm not sure if you can see it. Uh, it's in the, all, all inside that Rickia moss. Uh, but they're going at it again. Uh, we'll go over here and we'll check out Caesar. Oh, look, Big Rig's even excited. He just splashed me. Here's Caesar. This fish is gorgeous. I love this fish. God, he's beautiful. Uh, we're not going to go on the other side of the tank because it causes too much of a glare. Uh, but he's doing awesome. And then we're going to go down here and we're going to check out Cletus the Bahaka Puffer. Look at this guy. God, dog, he is amazing. Look at this guy's personality. Look at him. What? You going to put something in my tank to eat? I have some stuff for you to eat soon, guys. Make sure y'all stay until the end of the video. But check this guy out. Beautiful fish. Just gorgeous. We're not going to look at the 40 breeder with the red tail giant garami and the pike because uh, my lights are out on there. Uh, so we're going to skip over to the planted tank and go from there. Alright, so here's the 50 long subscriber planted tank. And yes, guys, unfortunately, this will be going as well. I'll be selling a lot of plants off too. I know I owe a few of y'all plants. Uh, like uh, ASAP Pet Info, bro, I know I owe you plants. Uh, it's been hectic, you know, I've already talked to you about it. Uh, but these dwarf puffers, guys, they're not going to be sold individually. It's a group buy. Make sure you have space to keep them. I can't stress that enough. Uh, but it's doing good in here. The algae is almost cleared up, as you can see. Uh, still a few spots, like right in there. But it's almost gone. I've been doing it. Uh, and it's looking awesome. So let's go on to the next fish. All right, so I haven't showed these guys in a long time. You can see, oh, well, I don't think Smaug's going to come out. Uh, but you can see the clown knife right there. You can see Zombie right there. They're getting huge. Uh, it's about time to move them to a new tank, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I don't think Smaug's going to come out. But uh, they're doing awesome, eating well. Everybody inside of this tank that you're looking at right here. Sorry about the graininess, guys. Golly. Uh, is eating veggie krill by Southern Delight. Uh, so really cool stuff there. Uh, really excited that this clown started finally started eating that. You can see Taco over here, love bugging me. But uh, let's go on to Big Rig. All right, so here is Big Rig. He is doing awesome. Uh, he just ate one of uh, Halloween's feeder mouse or mice, I should say. Uh, I think he's in shed again. So. I don't think he's going to eat anything, so I gave it to Big Rig. Uh, he chomps him down with gusto. Uh, this fish is enormous, guys. He's way over 14 inches, and he needs his 140 gallon very bad. He actually needs a 300, my personal opinion, but uh, we got some other fish to look at, so let's go check them out. Alrighty, so here is Odin's tank, and as you can see, there's my beautiful Adonis. Look at that guy. Wowzers. You see one of the rhinos hiding up in there. These guys normally don't come out until nighttime, but let me back you up, give you a good shot of this guy. He is so beautiful. Uh, you can see Odin over there hiding in his pot. He really hates the camera nowadays, but uh. Alright, guys, so here's the surprise. As you can see, we have a.